swim at the new uh, athletic club so uh, let's see what's next yesterday I went and bought a whole bunch of uh, clear coat uh, enamel and uh, my plan is to clear coat the roof of this van um, because the rust is sweet but uh, gotta make it shiny so uh, I've got some KFO leg braces which uh, let's see KFO is knee uh, ankle, foot, orthotic or something like that. Anyways, um, I strap these things onto my legs and then they have uh, locking mechanisms um, so I can straighten out my legs and then kind of like tip up into a standing position. And um, this van's not ridiculously tall. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got my other van over here. I'm going to uh, deploy the lift on this other one, which you can see right here and then I'm gonna pull it up next to the van. Um, and it should be probably about this high or so. And then uh, I'll be able to spray the top of the van. Yay. I do believe we've successfully gotten a couple of clear coats on this um, rust here. Let me uh, see if you can see this. Oh yeah, look at that. See how shiny the rust is? So now it's rusty, but it's also shiny at the same time. Um, I only had two cans of clear, so I'll probably have to get a couple more and uh, touch it up again at some point, but uh, before the rain sets in for good, I want to get this thing um, completely cleared. We have clear coated the roof of the van. Hopefully that looks nice. And by nice, I mean interesting, shiny rust. Got the microphone all set up on this thing. Only got one battery right now though and uh, only get about an hour of recording time. So we're gonna head down and get some uh, proper tacos and check on that dollar bill. It's been about a week since I put it there. So we're gonna have to uh, check the status on that. Well, look at this, someone put some orange paint on the sidewalk. sure if it makes me a jerk or not but when I'm crossing the street the people don't come to a complete stop when they're turning right and I'm going through the crosswalk I will stop and wait for them to completely stop there's just something about them slowly rolling towards me that I'm not a fan of and uh, a lot of times they'll just slowly roll and then get within like you know five feet of you or something but really I just prefer they completely stop and wait for me to get out of the lane then they can continue we go from the barren wasteland into the lush greenery. You can tell Nike owns this property because everything's green. Some people can't be bothered to stop. We're coming up on the location. It's been about a week or so, but uh, let's see if it's still here. I'm not seeing it. The magnet is also gone. I wonder if it's down here. Yeah, definitely not seeing anything. I don't think the wind would have blown it away. But uh, we'll find another place to stick one. I brought some more magnets with me today. Kind of forgot about that one. I should have checked on it a lot sooner. 
Also, there's a lot of homeless people running around here, and it would surprise me. Um, well, I'll just say they're really good at scouring for um, money and cans and things like that. Here we are, Mexicali Express. That Mexicali Express is one of those places I would never eat at on my own. Just cause, I don't know. I don't like eating at food carts and places that seem kind of grungy just cause I don't want to get sick. But, uh, whoo, hang on a second here. There's a diesel generator here for sale. $18.99. Nice. Look, I've been looking for a diesel generator, working on a uh, hybrid electric truck with my dad, and uh, we need like an 8 to 10 kilowatt generator to stick in the back of it. Ideally, diesel would be the best. But anyways, someone I know recommended that Mexicali Express to me. And... Uh, That's definitely the only reason I eat there, but it's so good. Unfortunately, they only serve Pepsi products for beverages, and I cannot stand Pepsi. So I'm going to a gas station down the road here. It's got one of those um, amazing Coca-Cola machines with a billion different flavors. Walking the sidewalk. Oh. Well, I'll just go out there and look to the left and you'll see what's on the uh, sidewalk. They backed up all those fusions finally, which is nice. So, I mean, just. So these a lot of times are trade ins, so I've got mm -hmm. customers come and park, so it's hard to police this portion. Yeah. Right? Um, so, you know, if you guys happen to glance out the window, which I think you got a view here, and you see it's blocked, you know, just say, hey, grab the keys, you know, get the lot lizard to go move it, you know. Truck, there isn't enough. If they park there and we're limited on parking, that blocks it. I'm just asking, it'd be nice if you could keep the sidewalk clear, but you know. All right. Thank you. And that's what's frustrating in general. Um, it seems like a pretty simple thing, but uh, yeah, they're going to do what they're going to do, I guess. I don't think I'm going to talk to them anymore about this. I'll just, uh... Ah, screw it. I'll just go down to City Hall, talk to one of the officers, and be like, hey, um, what are we doing here, you know? Well, I will, uh... I will share this with some, some of the guys who do parking enforcement. Okay. And I will, um, I mean, I would happily go around the other way, you know, around like where the bike gallery is and all that, but. With the sidewalk blocks where it's good? They're, they're really bad. I mean, okay. it's one of those things if I'm not paying attention, they're at an angle and I've almost hit my chair over there before and it's just not safe. Yeah. <laughs> just, I know the exact Just spot. this little road, yeah. So it's just that little stint there on the west side? Yeah, exactly. Southwest okay. East Avenue. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was envisioning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess just a bug in your ear. I mean, like I said, I'm not expecting any miracles, but, you know, it'd be nice if someone, you know, stopped by and said, hey, guys. <laughs> well, well I'll, what I'll do is I'll call down today. Okay. And I'll see what I can do to get our um, parking enforcement guys in the loop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, if it's a consistent issue, which it sounds like it is. Yeah, definitely. They may just need to get cited a few times. Yeah. And but I'll, I'll make the courtesy call first and just let them know, hey. Yeah, for sure. We have guys watching out for this. Just And hopefully that should be all it takes, you know? <laughs> I hope so, yeah. So, all right, cool. Well, hey, okay. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Have a good Friday. You too. That seemed like a pretty productive conversation. Uh, he said he's going to call down there and just let them know, hey, guys, uh, we're going to start ticketing you if you don't keep this area clear, so... It'll be good. Over the next few weeks, hopefully things will start being a, becoming a little bit better down there. Dang it, 
I think I blew out another hydraulic dampener on this thing. Gotta love that squeaking. This is a proper burrito.